another episode on the Cow's Craft server with myself, Peacemaker. Um, it's been a while. It's really, really has been a while. I have missed this place. I'm just going to sleep. It's night time. It's time for bed. But so I came back to find that we'd updated to 1.7. I did update the texture pack before I left. Um, I say left, I'll explain in a minute. No, don't. That's better. Okay. Look, it's nerfed my bed. My bed is all nerfed. That side's okay. We'll just look at it from this side. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 1.7 is here. And as such, there are a few new features. I went travelling the other day. And I got some good stuff. Look at this. Packed ice. Awesome. And... Loads of new flowers. Not flowers. He likes flowers. Um, and I decided when I got back, I wanted to put a map up. Because they're now big and epic. And if you look at the green dot, that's where I am. Just don't click it. So as you can see from here, there's my lava tower just over there. Doesn't look as good as doesn't look as good on the map, but it does look cool, don't you think? And then there's my house. There's the farmhouse and me farms, and the horse tournament arena thingy, jiggy, and my sand pit, or lack of sand pit, I should say. Yes. Anyway, so today was just going to be a bit of a talky talky episode. Um, give you a lowdown. Which one is that? That one. Um, give you a lowdown. And seeing as, yui, seeing as we um, have 1.7 now, I figured I'd do a bit of fishing. So I just boshed up this dry dock, like so. This little deck, so that we can go fishing. Um, but yeah, so. I went to Australia. I am now in Australia. So winter isn't winter anymore. Summer is winter. If that makes sense. Where's the fishes? Where's the fishes? There. Gotcha. No, I didn't. Damn it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm in Australia. Um, what to say? The flight was very, very long. 24 hour flight. What an incredible time. Um, it wasn't all in one hit, that would be insane. I did um, a 12 and a half hour flight with into Kuala Lumpur. Um, two and a half hours in Kuala Lumpur, sat, just stood up, walking around going, I'm not doing this anymore, I've sat down for too long. Um, and then another nine hours into Brisbane. Oh damn, missed it. Um, but yeah. So, got to Brisbane, my stepdad met me from the airport, because my mum didn't know I was coming. That was the key point to that whole escapade, she couldn't know that I was coming. Um, it was a bit of a surprise, a bit of a Christmas surprise, if you will. Um, and that went off with a bang. My stepdad met me, he told her he was going to work for a couple of hours, and she didn't get suspicious. She thought he was going to get a Christmas present or nothing, because she said, oh, I'll come with you. And he went, no. And she was like, why not? Give me. Yes. Fishy. Um, and he was like, no. And she went, she went, why not? And he went, just no. And um, that was a bit rare for my stepdad. But bollocks to it. He got me. He met me. Um, was busy talking to me in the car and went way past his turning. See that creeper just spawn up there. As soon as I catch this fish, I will um, kill it. Give me! No, damn it. Okay. Give me this. Die! There we go. Should be dead now. Yes, okay. Um, so, he met me from the airport, and then we got back to the house, which is a very nice house. Typical Australian house. Single floor, it's like a bungalow. Um, I have my own bedroom. 
reasonable sized. There are bars on the windows, or at least I thought there were bars. But they're, they're apparently sun shades. But I feel a bit imprisoned when I'm in my room. So I spend as little time in my room as possible. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, my mum... Damn you. My mum didn't know, as I said, and when I turned up, I sat around in the garage, ployed off. Why is that hook on the fishing rod, and yet it's out in the water? I don't get it. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I strolled through, about five minutes after my stepdad came in, and she jumped out of her skin and flapped like a woman does, you know, that <laughs> and then gave me a hug. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> but, um, what happened then? She introduced me to the dog and I went out for a fag and etc, etc. I went to bed. Bloody, 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 blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Australia. Yes. It's warm. It's very warm. Which is weird. Because it's December. And all you people are freezing cold. And I'm cooking hot. Give me the fish. Yeah, I got salmon. Did I get salmon? I got salmon. Woo woo. Ah, I got a salmon. Do, 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 do. Anyway. Um. Yeah, excuse me. I've had a bit of a cough since I got here. Because um, the change in temperature screwed me up. Like nothing. It absolutely screwed me up. Um, I had a really, really, really bad cold for the first week that I was here. Give me the fish. Yeah, I got fish. Um, really, really, really screwed me up. It was really bad. Uh, but I'm getting better now. I've only got a little bit of a a little bit of a cold. Damn it, didn't get the fish. I wasn't paying attention, it was scratching me eye. Don't scratch your eye, Nick, you'll have to go to the opticians. Yeah, now I have, I do actually think I've fucked my eye up. Now I'm going to miss another fish, aren't I? Give me the fishes. Give me the fishes. But yeah, I've been here for a little while now. Um, I wanted to buy a PC. As I was telling you, if you watched the Final Fantasy VIII Episode 1 that I did. Um... I um, wanted to buy a PC, went to a lot of computer shops, all they were selling me was Intel. Uh, they wouldn't sell me Intel, they wanted to sell me AMD, and I'm an Intel man, I want an Intel processor. Um, they kept telling me as well, like, the minute you put a graphics card in it, it gets more expensive. And all I could think was, well, I don't want you telling me what happens when you put a graphics card in. I'm aware it gets more expensive because you're buying another part. What I want you to do is to build the PC to my specifications. Okay? And stop trying to rip my face off when you're building it and charging me. Because what they were charging me was ridiculous. It was like um, they wanted to charge me um, $1,500 for an i5 processor, 8 gig of RAM, terabyte hard drive, and 2 gigabyte of video card, like graphics card. And I was just like, what do you think you're doing? Like, and most of the PCs that they priced up didn't even come with an operating system. Which is a massive headache. Because like, then obviously I've got to spend out another $100 or $150 on the new operating system. Um, and no, just build the PC, put an operating system on it, and give me PC. Give me p working PC, me plug in, me turn on, voila, done. But no, they don't want to do that. They, every every which way they can get more money out of you, they will. Um, so in the end, I looked um, at second-hand process, uh, process. I looked at second-hand PCs, and I found one that was possibly too good to be true. It had a um, overclocked i5. It had a Titan in it. It had six terabytes of hard drive. Um, all singing, all dancing, just a tower, five hundred dollars, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll have some of that. Fantastic!" And then um, went to pick it up, drove sixty-five miles to pick up the damn thing, and phoned the guy. I said, "Oh, like, I'm here, waiting for you." And he was like, "Oh no, I'm not selling it now." I was like, the f "What? What the hell, man? I just drove like sixty-five miles. I put fifty dollars in my my stepdad's petrol tank to get down there, and then he was like, "Oh no, I'm not not selling it now." I was just like, damn you! See, so, ever since I got here I realised that, um, I don't really like Australians. 
The country is amazing, but I don't like Australia. Damn, give me the fish. I don't really like Australians, to be honest. Arrogant little fuckwits. But anyway. <laughs> so, in the end, I looked online and I managed to get... I, I, I had to kind of settle. Um, I bought an AMD quad-core PC with 8 gig of RAM, a terabyte of hard drive space. And it was supposed to come with a 2, ter two gigabyte graphics card. Just a rudimentary graphics card that will do the job, you know what I mean? Um, but it didn't. And then I couldn't run Minecraft. Because the onboard graphics wasn't... It was clashing with the OpenGL function that um, Minecraft has. And, um, well yeah, after a little while, I got a little bit annoyed. Um, phoned them up and they were like, oh yeah, we forgot to put it in. I was like, yeah, fuck off, you just think that I'm a mug and <laughs> I'm stupid, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, anyway, long story short, they uh, sent me, um, yeah, they sent me um, the graphics card and that turned up yesterday. So the first thing I did was powered up Minecraft and got on it because I've been getting Minecraft DTs. Um, did a lot of travelling yesterday on Minecraft, in-game as it were. Uh, am I lit up around here? I think so. Oh, give me those fish. Thank you. Yeah. That's a lot of fish. But yeah. I am... Um, now. Damn you. Um, yeah, I went into 1.7 terrain and I found a roof forest to get this and I got some saplings so I can get more of this um, I got uh, loads of flowers as I showed you and I got um, what else did I get? Packed ice! I found some packed ice which I've been looking, I've been hoping to get out of but I was going the wrong way. I wanted to get the warmer biomes because obviously I want a but I want a mesa. I want a mesa because a an endless supply of clay would be absolutely wonderful. Um, and b they look amazing, and I might well leave this place that I've been at since I started and go to a mesa um, and carry on building there. I have got a new build that I want to do in mind um, and I want to build a space station so when you look down I want it to be a really really cool looking area that you're looking down upon and if I can get fresh supplies and all the rest of it whilst I'm there then fantastic I'll be so happy give me that damn fish um, So, I don't know, I'll uh, carry on looking some other day for a new biome, a mesa biome. But I have missed this place. I have missed Minecraft. The first thing I did when I got here was I went to the end, because Mr. V1 placed an order down at Pieces Peacemakers. Fish! Fish! Today's fish is salmon. Raw salmon. I want a puffer fish. Puffer fish. Puffer fish. I want a couple of puffer fish. Puff, puff, yeah, them. Puffer fish. Um, but yeah, Mr. V1 placed an order at Peacemakers Peacemakers um, for a custom bow, which was. No! Yeah, fish! Fish, um, which was an unbreaking three power five punch two flame one infinity one bow. So it's pretty hard to make, but I did it today. And Nux V one, if you're watching this, get your ass on the server, the ghost town that it has become. Mind you, saying that I am ten hours ahead. Therefore, when I am, oh, give me the fish. Yeah, I got a fish. Fish. Um, yeah, get your ass on the server and pay me, B-Arch. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. 
Well, I I don't. I'm not really joking. I want paying. Just I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sorry. Yeah. But we'll discuss prices when you get online. If you just send me a message when you are online, then we can sort it out, which would be fantastic. Give it a fish. Give it a fish. I wanna puff a fish, puff a fish, puff a fish, puff a fish. Come on. Give it a fish. Nick goes quiet because he's concentrating. Fish! Oh yeah, that's another thing. I am looking at... And this is... I'm throwing this out there for those of you who are on the Chaoscraft server and are paying attention. I'm looking at changing the moon cycle. Now, there was talk about this before. Um, but the full moon like this, I want to change it to the Death Star. Um, and I want to change the other moons. Like So there's only one Minecraftian moon like this. Um, and then every other mo part of the moon cycle is um, like a different moon from a different game so tell me what your thoughts are on that give it a fish damn fish yay I have a lot of fish but um, yeah so let me know what you think about that like getting a different moon for every day of the moon cycle where the oh fuck I thought that was a creeper where are those zombies I am safe here, aren't I? I do hope so. Fish! <gasps> puffer fish! Puffer fish! I got a puffer fish! I got a puffer fish! I got a puffer fish! Yes! I got a puffer fish! I got a puffer fish! I got a puffer fish! More fishing. And the other thing that I'm looking at doing, if you go on the forum, those Chaos Crafters that are watching, go on the forum and post your favourite retro video game sounds. And, damn fish, give me the fish. Um, yeah, post your favourite um, retro video game music or sounds and things like that. And I'm going to change all the music from the music discs to all the retro game sounds that we like. Um, the tracks are going to be the same because I don't really know if you can rename the tracks and stuff like that. But I am going to look into it. Um, but I'll give you a lowdown of what tracks are what on the forum. Um, I have a full set of music discs up top there. Up there. Um, so we can... I can at least test it out, see if it works and everything. But um, I know... For example, what I want on there is I want um, the in-game music from Zelda on the SNES. Because that was a game from my childhood and I love it. So I want that music in there. Um, I should imagine, for instance sake, that um, Mr. V1 would like either the music from Tetris, because he's, he, he's insane like that, or the music from Sonic, or possibly both. Dependent on who says what. Oh, I got a puffish. Um, but let me know. Um, I've been talking to EG as well, and he's thrown a couple out there. Um, if we can get remixes on there as well, like let me know. If that's what you want on there, then fine. Let me know, and I'll sort it out. But the resource pack needs to be updated. Um, well, it doesn't need to be. I want to keep it updated, keep it new, keep it fresh. Give us something that no one else has got. What's that? Oh my God! I have a new f fishing rod. That was insane. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, give me fish. But yeah. Um, now with my super fishing rod, I shall catch super fish. Super fish. Super fish. Super fish. Super fish. Do 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 do. Super fish. Super fish. I bet I missed one. No. I'm going to catch a squid in a minute. <laughs> Give it a fish. Damn. I'm hitting the button too early or too late. It's this. L I'm going to blame it on the lag. Yeah, because I'm in Australia. There's a lot of lag. I'm going to blame it on that. Oh, damn. Damn it. Damn it. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? And the block's there. And there's the sound. And the block's there. And there's the sound. See? Lag. 
I'm not making it up. It's definitely lag. Give it a fish. Damn you. The fish went straight for that. Did you see that? You get little bubbles in the water. Do 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 do. But uh what can I talk about? Other stuff. F oh fuck me, I had my um first encounter of an Australian spider the other day. God, it was a shock. Now I'm not arachnophobic, right? Give it a fish. Yeah, got a fish. Got a fish. Now I'm not arachnophobic, right? But this thing was big for England standards, like not for what you think of Australian standards, because they think like, oh, the red-backed tarantula and like the red-kneed tarantula and like all the bird-eating spider and things like that. Yeah, they're dangerous. Yeah, well they are, but the the bad thing about that is that you can see them. Right, and when you see them, you go, oh my god, it's so scary, and run away, like a little sissy girl. Um, did, I, did that land? No, it didn't. Um, yeah, so you see the big fish, the big big fish, the big, the big spiders, and you run away from them, right? This one was about the size of a 10 pence piece, or seeing as I'm in Australia, a 20, 20 cent piece. Oh, damn it, I missed it again, looking around. Um, but yeah. About the size of a, about the size of a ten pence piece, or slightly bigger than a ten pence piece. Give it a fish. Thank you for the fish. Um, and give it a fish. Damn you! But yeah, um, slightly bigger than a, a ten pence piece. It was yellow and black, which to me just tells me stay the fuck away. Only I only realised it was there when it was about four inches away from my face, because I was streaming the edges of the garden because I wanted something to do in the sunshine and uh, strim it away da -da -da. all of a sudden there's a spider right in front of my face that's bright yellow and, br and black and I was just like ah! and by the time I, I calmed down enough to go and have a look at it and get a picture of it and everything it had buggered off now I don't know if you've h ever heard of the, the saying there's only one thing worse than seeing a spider not seeing a spider like you, you see it you know where it is, you can keep an eye on it, you can stamp on it if it gets too close. As soon as it disappears, you have no idea where it is, and you want to run the fuck away from everything. Give me the fish. Yeah, I got a fish. I'm good at fishing. I was crap at fishing in real life. Oh my god, I was crap at fishing in real life. I'd get a nest every five seconds. Now, if you don't know what a nest is, it's when you get like a web in your line. Um, and... It, it takes hours and hours and hours to undo. And when I was doing this, um, I when I went fishing, I brought a half, half ounce of weed with me. And um, so every time I'd get a nest, which was like every time I put my rod in the water, I'd go, ah, fuck this, and just slam the slam the rod back into um, back on the the sand. Give me the fish. Back on the sand uh, or the uh, shore, and then go. Yeah, I'm gonna roll a joint. Just went and rolled a joint. Uh, and I'm not lying, I was only there for a weekend, right? But we smoked, on a, smoked over a half ounce of weed in that weekend. Just because every time I got... Give me the fish! Yeah! Right in my face. Fish in my face! <laughs> but, yeah, literally, fucking... Every time I put my rod in the water, I got a nest. And then as soon as I got a nest, I'd try and unravel it, and I'd be like, bollocks to this, I'm rolling a joint. So, my mate had pictures of um yeah he had pictures of the fishing trip and all the pictures of me that you can see I think there was only one of the like 50 or so pictures of all of us right there was only one picture of me with me with me rod in the water and then all the rest of them were I had either my feet hanging out the bottom of the tent which meant I was rolling a joint or I had the tray on my lap skinning up it was terrible absolutely terrible the things you do when you're young eh no give me the fish give me the fish uh damn it I want to fish from a special place I'm going to fish from here Spunk. won't be allowed to do this on the pier would you no ha the things you can do in Australia eh fishing from one of the the supports on the pier. And catch the fish. Caught the fish. Catch the cow. Damn it. 
Catch the cow. Yeah, caught the cow. Come here, cow. <laughs> Catch the cow. Caught the cow. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting bored. Oh no, look at my durability on my, my rod now. I'm going to have to change back to the uh, other one. What else happened? I went... Like, the thing about Australia, right, is that everything's big like it is in America. And I didn't like America because everything was big. Like, where I am, it's about 45 minutes to the nearest shop shopping centre. 45 minute walk to the nearest shopping centre. I mean, I'm, I'm lazy as hell. I ain't gonna go walk in for 45 minutes to the shopping centre. I don't like shopping as it is, but I just want something to do. So instead of shopping, I started working out. Yeah, that's right. Peacemaker's working out. The scrawny little pale person is trying to get toned and tanned. Rare as hell you'd ever hear me say that. But I am. I am, and fingers crossed it works. Um, I got me some whey protein stuff. And I'm eating three meals a day like a boss. Like a good little boy, because I'm living with mummy. And mummy feeds me three meals a day. Or rather, my stepdad feeds me three meals a day. Feeds my mum three meals a day too. So, we're all good. Um, but I started that insanity program, insanity training thing. Is that in the water? That doesn't look like it's in the water. Let's see if we get a fish anyway. Wait for the lines. There! Go! Didn't get a fish. Go in the water, damn you. That's better. Right. Um, but yeah. I got some whey protein. I'm doing that insanity training program thing. Have you ever heard of insanity? I will tell you this now. I've never hurt so much in my life. Like... The first three days of the training program was intense. Intense. There's no weights or anything like that. It's literally just using your own body weight and training like that. But I, I could barely walk. It really, really hurt. Um, luckily, today was a bit more of a recovery day. So it's more like stretching and working the muscles out. So I feel a lot better today. Like I still ache slightly, but nowhere near as, as much as I did yesterday. Fish! Puffer fish! Puffer fish! Puffer fish! Anyway, um, I got, yeah, so, what was I saying? I got a puffer fish. Yeah, but before that, give me this. Um, yeah, so, like, the, today was a bit more of a stretchy out and I don't hurt as much, and, but, it's a six day week program, so I've still got two more to do this week, and then I get a day off. Um, I think on the day off I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little um, stretch out and like relax and recuperate and stuff like that. But I'm still gonna still gonna take my whey protein. Um, I want my body because the thing is my body is used to just pumping out everything. Um, if you've seen pictures of me or you've seen me in videos on like V1s. Uh, v1 super bus project I was in that sometimes I'm a skinny little git right I'm really tall but I'm really skinny um, and I don't want to be skinny I actually want a bit of weight on me I'm sure I caught that fish but anyway fingers crossed that I'm working so halfway through the first week I'm feeling a lot better today than I did yesterday or the day before but fingers crossed we can, we can hope, we can hope, we can hope. Fish. Fish! I got a fish. More fish. Cool. So, I think that gives you a lowdown on how things have gone so far for me in the past two weeks. Look out for the next episode of this. I'm going to be looking around for a mesa biome. Um, I'm going to stick around here until V1 pays for his bow and then after he's paid for his bow I'm going to ship out to 1.7 terrain and fingers crossed get... did I get that? no I didn't oh, no. I got the salmon I just forgot the raw fish um, but yeah I'm going to uh, ship out to 1.7 terrain and uh, hopefully get 
hold of a mesa biome. Give me the fish. Thank you. As soon as I get hold of a mesa biome, I can start building my new builds and projects and things like that. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, what else is there? Ah, yeah, I need to finish off the uh, redstone in the arena. Um, but that's a headache, so I'll do that off camera and I'll just give you a lowdown when I'm done. Um, so overall, I need to stay connected at least to uh, to the hub, to the spawn town, because I need to be able to get involved with that as and when that happens. But for now, it's been wonderful talking to you lovely, lovely people again. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, I know it was, didn't really do much apart from catch fish. Um, and a fishing rod. Can't forget the fishing rod. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, hit a like for me. Um, if you want to see me do this again, and if you want to keep up with Final Fantasy VIII, which is coming out, um, then hit the subscribe button. There's also another series that I'm going to be doing, um, and that, that should be quite fun too, but it's something completely different. So fingers crossed that works. Um, but until next time, guys, take it easy, have fun, take care, bye-bye now.